Yeah, absolutely. And uh, if you uh, folks uh, want to go back in the Apologetics Academy archives on the YouTube channel, uh, just go to youtube.com, type in Apologetics Academy, you'll find the YouTube channel. Uh, there is a webinar we did with Dr. James White uh, a couple years ago where he discussed uh, textual criticism of the Quran versus the Bible. And uh, I recommend going and watching that. You might also want to check out Wesley Huff's webinar he did for us on um, uh, critiquing Bart Ehrman on textual criticism. Uh, so just a couple of resources I'd recommend on that. Um, let's see if uh, Jazz has his hand raised again. Let's see if he's able to, um, if he's got a better environment. Hear me? Hi, Ajaz. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, I can't come on camera. I'm really sorry. I was out in Starbucks. I uh, went to watch Black Panther today, so you have to forgive me for being late. It's okay. All right, so uh, could I get a couple of minutes with Jay? Would that be okay? Go ahead. Okay, so Jay, it's finally good to meet you. Um, I listened to you answering my question earlier. Um, so I have a question to ask you. Uh, what was Dr. Tayeb Atakulich's conclusion at the end of his facsimile on the top copy manuscript? Well, I, I went through it, his conclusions. Or maybe you weren't here when I went through that. Yeah. He said that this was a late, uh, uh, the late first century AH, which would be the, the, the early part of the, seven, uh, the eighth century up until 749. And he said that there were 2,270 variants in this text with the, uh, the 1924. Yep. Well, what was its conclusion at the end, the very end? He said very clearly, this is not with Manik. No, what was his conclusion in the last paragraph? What did he say? I'll have to open up and find out what you were, because you're asking I'll me. It for you. He says that it is exactly like the Quran that we read today, from Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim to the final Surah An Nas. So, do you disagree with his conclusion? Okay, let me ask you this. I, 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 it's interesting that he has exactly the same, and yet he, is, he said earlier in that there were 2,270 variants. Yeah, so because he agrees that orthographic variants. Because he agrees that they are orthographic variants. The orthographic variants, yes, yeah. because of the fact that they are different, they're, they're, therefore he is showing that there are thousands of variants proves that they cannot be the same. Now, I, I leave that with you. I leave that with you. you. Not say that there. Hold on, Jay. I think you're misleading yourself. Orthographic differences don't change the context. For example, he gives three words that account for those 2,000 variants. Hala, Atta, and I forgot the third one. Hatta and Allah. He says that they're spelling differences, but they're pronounced exactly the same. So yeah. do you think that words that are spelled differently but pronounced the same, they change the meaning of the text? That's what you're saying. We went through that, and we said they do change the no, meaning. That's you're what this conclusion led to. You're going to disagree with me, but listen. No, I'm disagreeing with you. Just to help you out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at all those differences. We now have the top copy. We have, and we're and the next time I come on, maybe we should just zero in on the top copy since that's the one that most. But, but, but Jay, that, that's what I don't understand. You're saying that the orthographic differences do not uh, coalesce with his conclusion. Consonantal differences to him. change. Yeah are different in the, on the top copy with the 1924 that we have today. I'm not talking about... The, the 1924 is really different with the Aleph. The 19, I'll give you an example, Jay. What did the Turks do before 1924 with the Aleph? What did they do? We're not, we're not talking about the Dagger Aleph. I'm not referring to the Dagger Aleph here. The no, what did they do? I'm asking. He comes up with, but that's the only one that I've ever heard Muslims come up with. Oh, these are just Dagger Aleph. Only about a third of them are Dagger Aleph. When we come back again, we'll go through the top no, copy. In fact, that would be a good session to do, just looking at the top copy and showing you, take out the Dagger Aleph, take out the Aleph, and let's see what the, door, what the canonical differences are between the top copy and the one that we have today. But, gee, you don't have to do that yet. It's already a 1971 thesis that did this. It's about 60 pages long. So are you not familiar with the basic literature on this topic? We, have, we now have the, well, b b besides what they, what they said in 1960, we now have... 1971. We have, all, we have the material at Hans State. You were here when I talked about the Quran Gateway. This is all yeah, not going to be... I know. I, I, I sent a review of the to Andy Bannister. I actually looked through the code and I presented some examples of uh, mistakes for him. I actually have a review of the website on my uh, own website. I watched all the videos. I had access to the database, everything. Uh, I'm, a, I'm quite ashamed that you didn't know that. So let's get back to the point. So Dr. Atakulich, <laughs> so Dr. Atakulich is saying it's the same. He points out orthographical differences. And based on your own scholarship, you disagree with his authority. Is that correct? Listen, I'm going to disagree with him, obviously, because you're not going to, you're not going to hear what I'm saying. Nonetheless, rather than sit there and banty back and forth as you like to do, Ijaz, let's go ahead and let's... Let's not get personal, Jay, please. Let's not get personal. I'm asking you to be professional. 
and let's see exactly what we're talking about. Because I think people need to know. I think because I'm hearing this from Muslims all the time. There is no difference. There is no difference. These are no, not. Yeah, I'm not admitting that there are differences. I'm not saying that there are no differences. We clearly I, agree that there are differences. And please say that in public that there are differences. Jay, I've said that in my paper response to you that has like thirty thousand downloads so far. Have you forgotten that? It's in the top one percent. Responded to that. I don't know why you don't have. Maybe you didn't. You haven't seen our response to your. Uh, I, I actually emailed you and you never got back to me. You told me two we weeks later. You up, we put it up. You should have access to it. I'm sorry you don't. You are, okay. Do you have the access to the, uh, where's the response? Where is it? What is it entitled? Response to, response yeah. to Ij, Ij, uh, Ijaz Ahmad. It was done by a committee, a group of people in London. They did it in the late, late, late 2014. So we're talking about three and a half so years. It's three years later and there's nothing to show for that. That's what you're saying. No, I'll give you an example, Jay. I'll give you an example. You quote there was a bunch of times in that debate you did with Dr. Ali. And he says it's the same Quran. So are you saying that you agree with Dr. Atakulet, you disagree with Dr. Fideli, you disagree with uh, the Rush on all the evidences that they have presented? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is this. Listen, and, and, and listen to what I quote. When you look at the top copy, the top copy is an early, a mid 8th century manuscript. Not mid 8th, you're wrong. By the mid 7th, 8th century manuscript, you do have probably the best manuscript available in that is the top copy. And it looks like it became, it was probably, we don't know yet. There's, I'm just speculating here. It was probably the one that, that, that all the others were being standardized to. Now that's telling in and of itself. Because what we're saying, what, what that suggests is that by the, uh, at sometime after Abu, Dabl, uh, Abu Talib, which, uh, sorry, not Abu Talib, Al Al Abdul Malik, the, Wali, the son of Abdul Malik, the Quran started to be coalescing. And so you have, Possibly, we're not. I, I, I have to be careful because I don't want. I want to want you quote on this. Possibly, the top copy was the one that became the standard text. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that is mid eighth century. So that is a good hundred years after the time, or nearly a hundred years after the time of Uthman. Uh, that would be incorrect, Jay. If you read Dr. Atakulich's paper, he specifies that it was within the second half of the first century Hijri. When does the Hijri calendar begin? At 621, at 50 years? 621. So you're still within the seventh century. That's what he says, or the beginning of the second century. Oh, that's the key word. It continues from the second half into the other half. Do you understand that? And the other, and when does it end? When does the second, the first century end? 619, 719, sorry. 719, so the second... Right, so it's between the 7th and the 8th, so why do you only say the 8th? Look at AH with AD, and we're talking about the 8th century by that time. Right, but he also says 7th century, so why do you only go to the 8th? No, he said the second half of the 8th century. century the second half would be the beginning of the 8th century, and the first what? half of the 8th, of the 2nd century. Jay, hold on, Jay, hold on, look with me here. 19 on. Jay, hold on, Jay, let, let, let us, let's work this out. Let's do simple math. <laughs> 622 CE is when the history calendar begins, agree? Right. And add goes to 719. Hold on, add 50 years, what do you get? It goes to 719. Hold on, add 50 years, what do you get? You get uh, 672. So it's between 672 and the uh, uh, early half of the uh, 8th century. So why do you... What he, says. he then says the latter half of the 1st century AH to... Uh, to the 1st century AH, that's it. You said it. Of the 1st century AH, so then why do you change it? 2nd century AH, the beginning of the 2nd century AH, which begins in six, 719. Yeah, just listen, you can sit there and bandy around back and forth. Uh, uh, Hold day. on, do you have it in front of me? You, have it in front sure of me. you don't on. get confused with the century AH and the AD, Western uh, the equivalent. I was muted by the host. They don't want me to speak to you, apparently. No, I can hear you. Yeah, he just muted me. Uh, Johnson, would you stop? I can hear you. Fine, continue on. I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. why if he did. Yeah, I mean, just malicious. Uh, so you have it in front of me, right? He says, Atta Coolidge dates the top copy manuscript to the second half of the first century AH. That's to the second, uh, beginning of the second century. But you can quote the whole thing. Don't just quote the first no, part. I'm, I'm responding to your point that it's only 8th century. Why don't you agree it's also the 7th century? No, I, I'm pretty, I think very clearly, I, again, maybe we need to write out to college and say, can you be more uh, No, it, it's right. in English. I've asked him, this is English. So he says the second half of the first century AH. Why do you deny that? Well, I, I don't deny it. I said up to 719. 
from six, uh, 672 up to 719 is a second half of the first century. But also, he then concludes that it continues that it could also be the second, uh, the first half of the second century. Now, again. He says that due to the vowel and the dotting. Hold on, Jay. Jay, he says due to the vowel and dotting. So the vowel and dotting was added in the second, first half of the second century, but the original text was written in the second half of the first century. What do you not understand? That about statement that? right there, the, even to the voweling and uh, the voweling was put and on probably at a later date. You do know that. Yeah, it's that's a, what he says. Let, let, let me read the quote again. Dates the top copy manuscript to the second half of the first century AH and the first half of the second century due to vowel and dotting. There this you is go. 81. So you've just, you've just said what I've been trying to tell you for the last 10 minutes. No, you're denying it's 7th century. <laughs> I'm going with, I'm going with, with the, 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 listen, I'm going with what most people interpret his writing as. And most people that I've come across do interpret. No, it. It's not what people interpret. That's eisegesis. You have to go well, to your so. You don't want it because you are stuck in that one little, that one little box that forces you to maintain that it has to be said. I've spoken to Dr. Atakulich. I don't believe that you have, so I'm coming for the authority himself. Let me also, Hijaz, you also have to be careful that much of everything that Muslims are going to say, including yourself, has to put, put has to force everything into that box that it must be seven Jay, this, Jay, Are you also going to tell me, you also gonna tell me Hijaz, that the top copy is the same as the Samarkand, which is the same as no, the, Poles, the, silly claims, as the <laughs> Husseini, which is the same as the Sana. Are you going to say that they all agree as well? And that they're all attack a straw man. So let me finish my point. This is what he goes on to say. There are 2,270 instances where there is dissimilarity between the top copy Musaf and the Fad Musaf. Most of them concerning whether or not the word was written with an Aleph. With an Aleph, G. Aleph. Listen. Rather than sit there and bandy about on this, can no, we go ahead and, we will to appeal to. and we will show you the differences between the two okay, so, and Jay, also the, uh, the let's, come to a Jay, let's come to a conclusion if you don't mind. Just, are you going to listen to me or are you going to talk over top of me? I have a question for you. I listen to you. I listen to what you were saying. You're not even hearing what I'm saying. You're talking as I'm talking. Be, be at least, uh, at least uh, set, set down. I know you're excited. I know you always... No, don't call me excited. I'm, I'm not excited. Excited. I'm not a woman who can be when we're looking at these different manuscripts, and I didn't just bring up the top copy, I brought six major manuscripts. And you're s s assuming now suddenly that these all agree. And now you're saying- it's I did not say they agree, Jay. I've never said that. You're only looking at one argument. You're saying that, uh, that uh, Alta Kulich, and he has to say this, and I, I understand why he has to say this. But He's what you're gonna find out is more and more scholars are now are, are, are going to be looking at the datings. They're going to be asking very, uh, uh, certainly difficult and damaging questions because the datings are not agreeing with a 7th century manuscript. Look at the sauna manuscript. Mm -hmm. Look at, were you here when we talk about the two different layers? Yes, of course I know about the two layers. You know me. Hold on, Jay, let's come to an agreement. I have a question for you. One question, okay? Can we have this discussion live? Me and you, you, you choose the topic, we sit down and we discuss it. Well, what I would like to do is actually talk about the top copy and let's look and see. And no, I'm set up a further date. Let's get them and let's look and see what the differences are between these manuscripts. No, I'm asking you. There are differences. You're claiming there are no differences. I you're never said that. They're all 7th century. I you're never claiming, said that. You're claiming that the only differences are, are the majority of the differences are nothing more than Alephs. I didn't you're... say that. Only specific to the top copy. That's what Dr. Coolidge himself says. I've quoted it to my people. Okay, that these are almost mostly Aleph differences. That's what he says. That's what he says. He okay, let's see if that's true. Let's come back and let's see if that's true. Okay, but Jay, I'm asking, can we set up a date where we can do this one-on-one -on -one in front of the public? Oh, we can do it right now. We can do it in front of, we can do it on this. Yes, yeah, I haven't prepared anything. I've just come from the movie. No, we're not going to do it today, and I'm not ready to do it right now, because ju I just got a whole, I just got the Quran uh, gateway. But if you, you say you have access to the Quran gateway. Yeah, I used to, until November 2017. Oh, okay. You no, know, it's a security error. I think I sent it to Andy. I'm not sure. But uh, you should... Why don't you ask Andy if he can give it to you again, since he's the one that's responsible for it. Oh, no, he has to close it down. Get, get in contact with John. Get in talk with John. Let's do another webinar, and let's just look, and let's just do a comparison. You and me. Is that a deal? You and me, that's a deal? That's a deal. We'll do it, okay. and we'll do it on air with, with John McClatchy. He has the moderator, correct? I'm sorry? With him as the moderator, correct? Moderator. Okay, um, so you agree. That's all I needed to ask. But I have, uh, do you have any questions to ask me? You have me at your disposal now. Not really, no. Okay, I have a question to ask you. I didn't hear it. There's some other questions I want to get to. Hey, Josh, it's been great okay, talking. Let, let, let's let's okay. stop there. And uh, some on some other occasion, we can have uh, Jazz and Jay in dialogue. But uh, let's move on for this evening to some few other questions, and then we'll wrap up. Um, 
Vladimir Sisig asked, um, are the slides used available for download? Could you perhaps email them to Jonathan who can further distribute them to us in the Ecologist Academy for further use? Oh, I'm sorry. This is when you're reading. Is it possible yeah. the Quran is completely inspired if that is- I'm, I'm reading, 